Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn the notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today I thought we could talk about what my honest opinions are of DBT. Now I've done DBT on four separate occasions. Two were full length DBT courses, so a year each. And the other two were done for acute therapy service in Lancashire. And it was intense DBT. So we did the majority of the mindfulness activities in a week. Well, eight days. You repeated the day you got there. So yeah. What are my honest thoughts of DBT? Now... I'm not going to lie, DBT has given me some amazing skills to use when I'm in crisis. However, nobody taught us how to implement them into daily life. The same CBT, no one ever taught me how to put, implement that into daily life. Honestly, my thoughts of it aren't great. I know a lot of people say it's been the best thing they've ever done and it's helped them a lot, but for me, it just, it just wasn't that good. I don't know if it's because they was trying to treat, treat my bipolar as BPD. Because yes, I have borderline personality disorder and schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type. But the more concerning symptoms were BPD related. Like impulsivity. Fears of abandonment. So, yeah, it was quite a journey. So... Honestly, I think DBT has the potential to work for people, and I believe it does work for people. I just, I just don't know how to implement a lot of the skills that I learn. Like for example, I've got the DBT skills workbook for bipolar, PTSD, psychosis, anger, and BPD, and honestly, I read them from time to time to remind myself of skills. I honestly find the self-led stuff easier to understand because I'm reading it myself and I'm teaching it to myself in a way that I understand it which is definitely a huge bonus and some people say that DBT saved their lives it changed their perspective fuck off don't get me wrong I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do it's definitely a good thing to do if you have BPD back when I was younger like 19, 20 years old. I think it would have worked better then if I had been inpatient doing a DBT course. Because there are wards that do that in the UK. I think they're called rehabs. But they do DBT. But yeah. For me, it's not been a lifesaver. Some of the skills that I learned myself have really helped. But yeah, it's not been the be all end all. I guess when some of the issue with that with me was BPD has never been my primary diagnosis. My primary diagnosis has always been bipolar and PTSD. BPD just happened to be get diagnosed and I'm still not 100% sure why, but it did. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and if you're new, subscribe, join the Brown family. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.